everybody, it's Willow and Jane from Flying the Hedge. And today I got in my Magical Folk box. These do not come in a nice pretty box like some of the others do, especially the uh, Tame Twilight Apothecary, which I posted earlier today, um, or yesterday, or whenever I decided to post it. But I'm really excited to get this one in. This Magical Folk box is the mini combo box, so it comes with the tea, the crystal, and one of their other rituals. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it comes with three kits, so let's go ahead and open this up. I've already cut the tape, so it's easy to open. And if we look on top, we have our ritual cards here. And let's pull those out and look at what we got. So the first one says the sacred wolf. I'm assuming this has something to do with uh, using the wolf in magic. There is one that says, I think it says Femine. Will you guys stop tearing on my chat? Yes, about feminism. A repertoire of magical teas, so that's our tea. And then, is, no, Femine, okay. And then Nichecraft. Possible to describe the edges of the witch in one crystal? would be peacock ore. I have a piece of peacock ore. I'm really excited to see what they have here. So we have these three lovely little cards about each of our little ritual things. So let me set those to the side. And here we have some cards. So what it looks like on the back and then what it looks like on the front. And this appears to be um, like a recipe card. It says cauldron of and then magical specialty and then ingredients. And then there's directions that you can write on the back. Jane, please don't try to walk all over me. This is, looks like a poem and a letter from Candace. It says, we are more connected than divided. The well from which you manifest is, the sac is sacred to me as my own. The circle of magic we share has led me down a path of deepest and slowest magic I have ever experienced. Every step of the process is carefully crafted in a way that creates the easiest energy for you to receive. The ingredients are ethically sourced, often crafted entirely from scratch and created in ritual or ceremony. It seems only fitting to put volumes of energy into this for you and get volumes out of it. But now my half is complete. It is your turn to receive and surrender to the mist. But before you do, can I ask a favor? Do not look with your eyes. Do not think with your logic. Instead, slip into your own mighty silence and feel. Feel your ancient nature, speak with your guides, and draw up your magical or your magic from your well. Manifest this energy for your own. Feel it completely, and you will complete the circle. You will find me there with love, Candace. And she's the creator of this box. So that's really pretty letter. I probably would not have printed it in black ink on such a dark card. It makes it a little difficult to read. But there it is. Okay. So I'm going to pull out the tea first because that's the easiest thing here. And it says Femine Ritual Tea, Expanding Feminist Perspectives, Sisterhood, Empowerment, and Honoring Moon Cycles. It's made with white tea, red rose. Oh my God, I'm excited to have that. Hibiscus, Skullcat, Vitex Berry, Rose Hips. Oh my gosh, and Pomegranate Flavor. This is probably going to be my favorite tea ever. Anything that has roses in it and hibiscus, yeah, it's kind of my thing. So there's our tea right there. And I'm gonna sit that with its card over here. And I just dropped one of the cards, hold just a second. Don't fall, Jean. Okay. And then we have next little package right here. And this is our peacock ore. So that should be right here with witchcraft. And it says peacock ore and then it says what are we supposed to do with it? Is this the right thing? This is not peacock or. Hold on a second. Let me check this one. This may be the peacock or. This may be what's coming. Yep. This is lapis lazuli. Um, this is for the sacred wolf. We got two. This is a heavy chunk. These are two really pretty pieces of... Uh, Lapis lazuli. These come for, probably from Afghanistan. That's where most of this is found, is from the Middle East. When my brother was over there serving his tour in Afghanistan, he brought back some for my mother. 
a really big chunk that if you bought it here in the United States would be super expensive, but over there it's because they're mining it out of the ground everywhere. It was really super cheap. So we brought her home some really uh, big chunks, but I got two right here that are beautifully cut and polished. And then it looks like we have some herbal mixture that contains cedar, juniper tips, star anise, wood betony, and elder flowers. Apparently I included the cauldron recipe card to record the ingredients in this kit, plus any other incense oils, crystals, or tool you may use to connecting with wolves. So that's what this is for. Okay, so this is a recipe card to record this actual ritual, which is pretty cool. So you can see what you've done to connect with the wolf spirit. So I'm gonna set those together. I'm gonna get two crys different crystals out of this. But that's exciting. I didn't get any crystals in the um, other box. A magical, no magical folk. Um, House of Ritual. Sorry, I was looking at the box to figure out what it was. This must be our witchcraft one. Um, which I think I originally said nichecraft because the W on here, if you look, part of it is flowers and bird. So this comes wrapped up in some tissue paper, which is one of the things I really love about this box is that it doesn't come with any of the bubble wrap. I'm not a big bubble wrap person. Uh, and I spoke too soon. There was some bubble wrap here, but it's to keep this bottle of oil safe during travel, which I understand. Let's throw that away. So we have our Magical Folk Witchcraft Oil. It's lovely. And this particular oil includes jojoba, olive oil, sunflower oil, infused with dragon bloods, resin, honeysuckle flowers, and vervain herb. Supercharged enchanting oil that magnifies any intention. Hmm. Smells pretty good. And I can see there's herb chunks in here. I don't think that you can actually, oh, might, maybe just a little bit. Let me see. Yep, there you go. You can see some of the herb chunks in there. It looks like it's probably, um, I don't see a lot of flowers in here. It's probably the vervain that you're seeing there. So I'm gonna set that right there. And then we have this lovely, throw that away too, lovely chunk of peak, oh my God. This thing's huge, guys. Look at this chunk of peacock ore. I have a small piece of peacock ore that I got last year or the year before in a kit. This piece is gorgeous and you can see some flesh gold. I know it's hard to see on my phone and on the camera and stuff, but there's some purple. You gonna get down, Jane? You wanna step over here? All right, I'll move the box. Come in here. There she goes. So lovely, lovely piece of peacock ore. So I've gotten three gorgeous crystals, a big old chunk of peacock ore, lots of flex. And that goes with our witchcraft. Um, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with this one. Let me see. Um, peacock ore, what it's used for. Uh, we detect and draw direct energy, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Okay. So it's just to help manifest intentions between the oil and the peacock or whatever spell you're doing. It's pretty great. So to review, we have our tea, our feminine tea. To, um, it's a social tea meant to be consumed over meaningful conversation when we are most sensitive during our moon cycles. It's a tea of the more important. Jane is very interested in this peacock or and the oil. I wonder if she's really interested in this one. Are you interested in this one? Tea? Okay, so use it in uh, group healing rituals, goddess gatherings, all that kind of stuff. And it's made with a white tea, but here it says, no, nope, yep, white tea. Sit on here too, which is gonna be a lighter tea. White tea is made from uh, baby leaves that aren't quite uh, fully developed yet. So there's a little, it's not as strong, but full of those antioxidants because you're younger. Then we have our lapis lazuli and our mix of herbs, along with the cauldron recipe card to summon our uh, sacred wolf. I think this goes, this whole kit goes really well with the Holy Wild book that I just reviewed on my blog. All of this stuff kind of ties in nicely and the wolf on the cover of that. And she talks about in that book about um, 
being a she-wolf and a mother wolf and stuff like that and opening up your feminine power. So I think combining this kit with that book would be extremely beneficial. If you haven't read it, there's a link to the review below. It was wonderful. The rituals in it are beautiful and it's very empowering for women, whether you're cis or transgender woman, it doesn't matter. Not really for men, guys. Sorry, guys. It's not really for you. It's definitely meant for the lady folk out there. But this whole kit between the tea, the um, summoning your inner wolf and enhancing your magical powers with this oil and the peacock war definitely would empower any ritual that you find in that particular book. So if you're interested in reading it, there is a link to my review below. Again, I strongly suggest you try it out, ladies, especially if you feel stuck or you're going through a transition, or even if you just feel ultra comfortable in the skin that you're in, Jane is still interested in this. Here, I'll just give it to her. All right, um, this is my witch cat, I swear to God, like she's super in tune with things. She chewed up Robert Gray's book the other day, or Graves, on The White Goddess, probably because the book is trash. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying this book, or this um, box, I'm gonna, combine it with some of the rituals. I am going to reread the book starting uh, next month and work, start working through the rituals myself. And we'll combine it with this beautiful kit that's been put together. I'm, some, somebody's out there thinking about me. The universe definitely thinks I need some changes anyway. So yeah, you can, as soon as I review this box entirely on my blog, you'll see a book below because this is only the second one I've gotten. It's not a complete review, but will be a review of these items once I have tried them. If you didn't catch my last video on the Magical Vote box, there's a link for that YouTube video below as well, as well as a link to the review of October's box. So I hope that you guys will check out the blog and I'll see you guys later.